questions, isn't it? Um, well, I guess for the first one, for making a video, really, at its most basic, you just need a camera. Um, we use a flip camera, nothing very fancy. Um, and flip cameras are pretty cheap. You can get a good deal on Amazon, usually. Um, but they have been discontinued, so they're not going to make new flip cameras. Um, other than that, maybe if you had a, if you had a camcorder, um, these are always pretty handy. Uh, it's kind of a good step up from a flip cam, uh, but a little bit more old school. <laughs> uh, you could use uh, maybe a smartphone if it has a pretty good camera. Uh, the newer iPhones have a pretty good video uh, function. Uh, the only problem with that is you can't attach a tripod to it. Um, now, why would you want to attach a tripod? Because, well, for one, it lets you be hands-free. Um, I don't have to be standing holding that camera <laughs> to shoot myself. Um, another thing is that it lets your shots be nice and steady. You don't get a lot of uh, movement, so it doesn't look like the Blair Witch Project. Um, and if you're trying to sort of improve the quality of your video, you'll want to pay attention to lighting. It doesn't have to be very fancy. Um, Usually you could just get like an extra desk lamp or a reading lamp. Um, those are handy because you can move them around and uh, just kind of aim them uh, on your subject. Um, other than that, you might want a microphone. Um, the built-in microphones on cameras are, they're okay if you don't have a lot of noise going on. Um, if, you, if you're indoors with a closed door, it's not going to be that bad, but if you're outside, um, dealing with any wind or a lot of extra noise, you're really going to want a microphone um, that, that your uh, subject can either hold or can be clipped onto a shirt or something. Um, and then when you're, once you have your video, you're going to want to edit it. Um, there's, there's a few basic principles. You want to keep it fairly straightforward. Um, you know, most nonprofits aren't going to be making uh, you know, you're, you're not making a Hollywood movie, uh, you're not going to need a lot of effects. And most of the effects you can get um, for, a, for a free or a low-cost tool are going to look really bad. <laughs> um, as far as uh, software, um, at the cheapest you could use something like YouTube, which uh, actually does have an editing function. Um, that, that's pretty effective, um, and it's good if you're not making a whole lot of videos. Um, if you kind of want to step up, um, any PCs, uh, Windows machines come with Windows Movie Maker, uh, which is a good start. It's got a few limitations as far as file formats when you're when you finish your video, um, but it's good for a beginner. Um, if you have a Mac or if you have, uh, you know, a son or a daughter or a coworker with a Mac, uh, those come with iMovie for free, so you can use that, which is a bit more flexible than Windows Movie Maker. Um, and if you're, if you're not adverse to spending a bit of money, um, Adobe Premiere Elements is very similar to iMovie, has a lot of the same functions, um, and it's pretty cheap for nonprofits. Um, if you go to something like TechSoup, you can get a pretty good discount. And once you have your uh, movie in your uh, editor and it's all finished, then it's really just uh, a matter of getting it out there. You can put it on a disc, uh, you can put it on the internet. Uh, YouTube is probably your first choice. Other than that, Vimeo has a pretty good uh, community of photographers and videographers um, who may also want to uh, share some knowledge or some help when you're making more videos. And uh, good luck.